Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody's trying to, I like when people try stuff and they're using a 24 point line and they're using a dash, a line style that's kind of a dash, but it's not giving them even dashes. You can see that one quite a bit longer than the other ones. So how do you create that? How do you fix that? Go up to object and convert that outline to an object and then go up to object and break it apart. We're gonna keep that one right there. I'm gonna delete everything else. And you can just wipe through here and delete everything. Now, we need to find out what angle that is. So what I'm gonna do is take a two point line and go from that corner right there. That's one thing cool about using that line. It's already a good curve. So I'm going to the top corner and going to that node I'm gonna get my angular dimension tool and go on one side of the other of it and then come over and we're at 12.3 degrees. Okay, for this exercise, we're gonna use eight degrees. So how do you make that eight degrees? Let's get rid of that stuff and let's left click, right click. I don't know what that is, that's just part of that line. That might cause a problem. I don't really know why that was there. Yeah, we got something going on. That line there should not bother. Something else was in the way. So how do we get to eight degrees? Because this arc is already for the nine inch circle or whatever it was. Let's take a two point line and go from there to the top of that, control D and make a duplicate, move our center rotation to the center and rotate that eight degrees. Now we have eight degrees. Let's take our smart fill tool and fill that in. I got a leak because my line wasn't quite long enough. So I'm gonna just angle it over and as long as we stay on eight degrees, and you can double check that, we're good. Now take the Smart Fill tool and fill that in. I'm actually going to change this to black. I was using some other colors the other day. Well, don't worry about it. I'm going to fill it in with the Smart Fill tool and then change it to black. So now we have, I'm going to nudge that out of the way for a little bit, and I'm going to delete all this. Now I'm going to nudge it back. I'm going to click on it, and you could use Control D, but it's easier to go to Windows, Dockers, and Transform. Yours might say Transformation. We're going to go 22 and a half degrees 16 times. Those are perfectly even. Let's back up here. Let's go 12 degrees, and for 12, we would need 30. And now you've got evenly spaced items. Now, if that line wasn't long enough, you don't have to start off with a with any dash lines. Uh, just start off with a, you know, if you want something that's, let's draw another nine inch circle, holding down the control button. Let's go nine inches, hit P, put it in the center of the page. Let's go make that 24 points and leave it solid. Now let's con be, con convert this outline to an object and left click, right click. Now we got that item. So let's say we're gonna go 16 degrees this time. That wasn't the plan, get your two point line. Well, I'm gonna go from here down. And then control D and rotate that guy move your rotation to the center and rotate it 16 degrees. So now you can take your smart fill tool and by me making it taller, the lines, my smart fill tool does leak this time. So now you have a 16 degree curve, delete everything. You don't need any of that. You don't even need the circle. And control D and make a duplicate of it, rotate it. Uh, get out a calculator, 360 divided by 16, 
is 22 and a half. Of course, we're gonna, that's gonna make a solid line. So let's go um, 11.25 times, what did I say, uh, 16, let's go 15 and see what happens. Nope. Oh, well, our angle has to be more than uh, 16 degrees. So see what happens when you do 16, you get a solid line. So let's go uh, 24 and we'll have 15 of them. Now we have longer, basically dash lines and they're identical. They're all the same distance apart. And you can do that with anything, with any thickness, with any angle, it just has to be divisible by 360. I hope that answered their question and thank you for watching.